Okay, I'm back with another video. Um, today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I trim my natural hair. I don't know why, but trimming your hair still seems to be underrated. And I think it's because people are so scared to cut off some of their length. But what they're not realizing is, number one, when you have shabby, raggedy ends, it doesn't look good. And on top of that, um, when your ends are damaged, it's eventually going to damage the rest of your hair. So, um, Trim your hair is a good thing. Now, I don't stick by any kind of strict regimen like some people trim their hair every six weeks or something like that. I personally don't do that. I trim my hair when I feel that it needs trimming. That might be every six weeks. It might be within two weeks. It might be a year, whatever the case may be. I just kind of go by what it looks like. Now, um, my hair has gotten damaged because I haven't been taking care of it, and um, which is really unfortunate. It's really, I just, I'm so mad at myself because I work so hard, but anyway. Um, so my ends got a little bit shabby. I usually really keep up on this, but I let them get kind of shabby. So how I'm going to trim my hair today is it's still in its natural state. This is just twist that I wear normally. Um, some people I know trim their hair, they blow dry it or flat iron or whatever the case to make it straight because it's easier to trim. And it's okay to do that. I don't have anything against that except for the fact I rarely straighten my hair. I rarely blow dry my hair. In addition to that, to me, you would do that more so if you're going to wear your hair in a straight style because you want to make sure you trim it um, e evenly so it looks good. For me, I know I'm not going to wear my hair in a straight style anytime soon so it doesn't matter you know, if it's a little crooked or whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect because um, I'm probably going to be wearing my hair mostly in twists or like a wash and go or something like that so that's not um, really important. Right now my hair is actually dirty. It's like a week old and tomorrow is going to be wash day. And um, normally I don't really like to do a whole bunch of my hair, a whole bunch with my hair when it's not clean. But I'm doing this because I don't want to wash it first because I don't like to trim my hair while it's wet. And the reason being is um, that when it's wet I can see some of the damaged ends but I can see it better for me when my hair is actually dry. And that may be different for other people, but for me, I can see better how I'm trimming and what needs to be trimmed when my hair is in a dry state. Um, another thing, how I want to say how you know you need a trim, you should, to me, kind of just know it. But um, if your ends are just shabby, just jacked up, you that's obvious that you need to do a trim. Another test you can do is like when you take, when you unravel your twist or if your hair is in a straight state. If you can see right through your hair, like you see mine is not, it's not really that bad, but if you can see through, I know you've seen those people that have see through hair and it's more obvious when your hair is straight and you can just see through it, that you need a trim. Stop holding on to them raggedy ends because there's no point in doing that. I, I really don't, I really don't get it because it doesn't look good, but do whatever you want to do. Um, another thing is even for a person like me that wears their hair natural, um, I mean in this curly natural state. It also doesn't look good because like when you wear your hair in twists like I do a lot, it doesn't look good when the twists are all fat, your hair is all fat and nice and healthy up here and then down here it gets like so super thin. I know it's going to be a little bit thinner at the ends because the ends are the oldest part of your hair, but when it's just like you start off with a real fat twist right here and then it's just all skinny down there, that doesn't look good for when you wear your hair in twists either. Um, not to mention when you're also twisting your hair, if you're going to do a twist out or just wearing your hair in two strand twist, the more thinner it gets at the bottom the more you're trying to borrow hair from the other strands which in turn either makes it um, not up at the ends or it doesn't look good or you can't properly twist so just all in all just it's when your hair just needs to be trimmed it's a mess and just need to just go on and do it um, it's not that big of a deal you as long as you're not cut, cutting like for me I don't since I take care of my hair and I trim it regularly when it needs it I don't ever have to do big chops over and over and over again or cut three and four inches off my hair. I just do a little bit because what I'm going to show you today is actually, I would say it's probably going to be more of a dusting than a trimming, but it's kind of extreme dusting because it's going to be a little more dusting. Usually you would probably cut off, you know, maybe that much. I might do a little bit more than that, like maybe that much. I'll see. I don't know. Um, you can either, you can even you can trim your hair while it's in the twist and I'll actually just do both ways just to show you it really doesn't matter just as long as you can kind of see what you're doing um, 
Another thing is the kind of scissors that you use is actually very important. Um, these are not overly expensive. I really don't remember how much I paid for them. I got them off of Amazon, but they weren't the cheapest scissors and they also weren't like top of the line. It's kind of like they were like beginner professional scissors if that makes sense. And um, you want them to be very sharp and you don't want to use some dull scissors that you have laying around the house that you use when you were wrapping Christmas presents or whatever. If you've been cutting paper with them, do not cut your hair with them. When you use dull scissors to cut your hair or trim your hair, um, that also damages your end. So you want to have a pair of scissors that's only to be used for trimming your hair. So like I said, I got these from Amazon. I don't remember how much they cost. I would admit, I, I really, I don't, I don't even know. Um, yeah, they're on Amazon. Actually, it has a name on here. They're called Equinox International. So I've been happy with these scissors. You also need to get them from Sally's or whatever. You probably can buy scissors at the grocery store. It doesn't matter as long as they're sharp and as long as they were made for trimming hair. I wouldn't buy it out of the school supply section. I would buy it out of the hair section. Um, okay, so let's get started. So since I have this one already unraveled, I'll do this the unraveling way. And if you don't feel comfortable doing big pieces like I'm gonna do, I mean, you can separate them or if you wanna part it or whatever and get you know real precise with it, that's fine. Um, as you see my hair, so my hair is thick, so even when it gets damaged, it still looks thick, which I feel is a blessing because I've damaged my hair so many times. Um, you can see the twists are pretty fat all the way down, but I would say the ends are a little shabby. You see that? I'm not gonna cut that whole piece off though. So just kind of, I mean, you don't want to be too, I, I said it really doesn't matter if you don't wear your hair straight, but you don't want to be too sloppy with it. So I'm going to go like that and then just cut that off. So you see how that looks? That looks way better. You just don't hear it, see anything hanging down. And another reason actually why I wanted to do my hair, um, I wanted to trim my hair before I wash it tomorrow is because when I'm detangling my hair, the raggedier the ends are, the more hair that I lose. So I want it to be like really fresh on the ends um, so that I can detangle it properly. So that's how you do it. I mean, that was simple enough, right? So I'm just gonna clip that piece up. Now this, I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do it while it's still in the twist. So you can see it gets a little thin at the ends. I'm not gonna go all the way up here or anything crazy like that. Now you can see the good part about my hair Believe it or not, it's damaged at the ends, but it still has that coil at the end, which is kind of a good sign that it's not doing too bad. But still, I want a little bit of this cut off. So with this, I'm gonna just take that little coil, go snip, boom. Easy enough, right? So there's that, that looks nice and healthy now. And so I'm just gonna continue on the, um, and do the rest of all these twists. Um, I don't want to waste you guys' time showing y'all that, but I just want to kind of give you um, the inside scoop on how I trim my hair. To me, you're always going to need to trim your hair eventually. What the frequency will depend, but it's just your hair is going to look so much better, and it's just going to be healthier in the long run if you trim it when it needs to be trimmed. Now, another thing is to decrease the frequency of how often you have to trim your hair, just take care of your ends. The way you have to look at it, somebody, I heard somebody say this before, this is how you look at your hair, like your roots. This is like a baby. So this is new, it's you know healthy, like my everybody's hair is thicker in the roots. Actually, I love the way my roots are, but once it starts to get to the end, I don't really even, I'm like, whatever. But so it's like a baby right here, and then like a baby grows and gets older, 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 older. So pretty soon down here, this is like a senior citizen, elderly. So it's frail, more frail, more fragile, more easy. You know, like how senior citizens, if they fall and break their hip, it's like, oh my God. You know, it's like this really big deal. It's a big deal for everybody, but it's worse for a senior. It's hard for them to recover. That's the same with the ends of your hair. This is the oldest piece of your hair. Think about it. It's been out in the elements. It's been, had the heat, most heat on it all the time. Um, you probably comb the ends more than you comb the actual roots of your hair. It's manipulated a lot. This is the oldest, raggediest piece of your hair. Um, and this goes for anybody, no matter how healthy your, your hair is, this is the worst 
part your ends are the worst part of your hair so you have to take care of them you have to treat it like a baby you have to um give them nutrients and all that to keep it healthy so that's just trimming is like one of the best things you can do the other thing is um what i recommend is like sealing your hair with oil you just don't want you don't ever want to let your ends sit there and get dry again i just wanted to let you guys know how i take care of my hair and how i trim it like I said, I've been slacking a little bit, so I'm trying to really just pump up my healthy hair regimen again. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And also turn on the notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next one.